have in the kitchen something new this morning, Cherish. Yeah, you have to look forward to this. Artist Merlin Good, Michaela, and Mike from One Meal here making some blue marlin cakes with a creamy alligator sauce. Didn't see that coming, did ya? <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of ingredients here, guys. I know we probably want to start with the cakes. Yep, we're going to start All with right. the cakes. Okay. And something that you don't see, probably have a hard time finding it. <laughs> it's blue marlin meat. Well, you're going to give us something we're going to have a hard time yep. finding. How are you going to do that to us, Mike? Go fishing. Okay. <laughs> it's like the card game. I feel like I'm yeah. playing. Go fish. <laughs> go fish. All right. Are you going to take us meet? fishing? I don't have a boat big enough for that. <laughs> these, these fish were, well, they're about the size of the boat I own. Well, how did you get the blue marlin? Uh, Mobile Big Game Fishing Club had a tournament. That was old bay season I put in there. Had okay. their Memorial Day fishing tournament over the weekend, and they gave us three fish. Uh-huh. One was 710 pounds, one was like 553, one was what, 468 pounds. Wow. You know, you got a lot of fish to clean when you had to put knee pads on to clean the fish. Yeah, those <laughs> are huge fish. But I was trying to think of something new to do with it, something because I've, I've got a lot of this meat and we feed the homeless every Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So this is a real good way for me to do it because this, this meat has got a texture on it that is, is real firm. It doesn't get mushy like a lot of fish we catch around here. Well, answer this. And, so okay. you said this is hard to get and maybe we don't all have boats. I don't have a boat. If you have a boat, you'd like to take me out. I'll go fishing with you. Yeah. <laughs> I might make you throw all your fish back though. I don't like to see what I like. I don't like to see it. If we catch it, I can't eat it. It's just one of those things. I like to go okay. fish though. But anyway, so I digress. What would be comparable to this if you said this is hard to, to get? Crab, what kind of fish? Crab meat. Oh, for us fish. Um, actually, you could use catfish for this. Okay. All right. See? That's yeah. easy. Just right? run it through a meat grinder and it'll grind up just like that. All right. And now, a real simple recipe. All I've put in here is uh, a little bit of cornbread dressing seasoned, some Old Bay and some eggs, and well, I should have got a bigger bowl. <laughs> well, and we'll Michaela has a smaller hand. You want to put your hand in there? No. Oh, good. You no, could. <laughs> just stand there and look pretty. Yep. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's a lot of egg and yeah. Well, she's going to actually cook in just a okay. minute. I'm going to let her cook the patties. But all you got to do is mix that up real good. Mm -hmm. Get you a little bit about like that. Mm -hmm. And just press it together real good. Make your patty out. Okay. Just all like right. that. Just like that. Okay, and you mentioned and, uh, one meal. You guys feed the homeless. You guys do this yeah. downtown Mobile every Sunday. Every Sunday at 4 o'clock, okay. we feed, you know, 140, 150 people. We've actually been doing this for over five years now. We're not supported by the government or anything. It's uh, just the community helping us. So. Family, friends, neighbors. Family, you guys friends, help. neighbors, stores, Studio 10, Channel 10. I mean, it's, it's just the community helping us. Okay. That's one thing about one meal. Anybody can come help us. We don't, we're not government regulated, so there's no rules, no regulations. Only one thing we have to say, if you're hungry, get in line. Okay, well, if you want to help out, we'll have all that information, how you can join them on Sundays, again, 4 o'clock. It's on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. Recipe is also there. Yep. We'll start cooking these cakes up in just a few minutes. How about that, guys? Yep, that's what we're going to okay. do. Okay. All right. Back in our Studio 10 kitchen with Mike and Michaela from One Meal, working on our blue marlin cakes with creamy alligator sauce. These are the blue marlin cakes. If the folks are just tuning in this morning, missed the beginning of the show, tell them what's all in there, show, Mike. Good, ain't they? It smells good, <laughs> definitely. I probably got everybody in the studio looking at this. All right. Well, what we got, as you heard us talk about earlier, we got the blue marlin cakes. Um, and right now, Michaela's cooking them off. We're going to make them nice little golden brown. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see them. What, what, was it, what, was in, what was all in there? We put the ground blue marlin meat, mm -hmm. some old base seasoning, eggs, and a little bit of stuff in mix. All right. And, I mean, that's a simple recipe. And on that fish, I mean, you can change it out. It's basically somewhat of a crab cake recipe. Right. So you can use crab meat or whatever. You can use crab meat or like you said earlier, catfish if you don't have yeah. access to blue marlin, but we're getting a treat this morning trying out something a little bit different. So we're watching those. Michaela's got her eye on those over there. And, and then you've got this plate full of goodness right here. Now Lots this, of great ingredients. This plate here, we got alligator sausage, mm -hmm. chopped up jalapeno, Fresh Parmesan, smoked goo, minced garlic, and butter. Now, I see you have some of the seeds from the jalapeno in there, too. So, is this going to be a little bit spicy? Just a little bit, but not too bad. All right. Sounds good. 
And then you just want to take and you're going to brown the sausage off. And this is going to give it your flavor mm -hmm. for the sauce. Bigger pans and bigger bowls, but we'll just make it all work. <laughs> I made a mess a while ago. You know, I think that's part of working in the kitchen is making a mess, right? Yeah. Well, man, it's TV. I'm trying to keep it clean. Hey, well, you're, <laughs> you're doing a good job. So we have that going yeah. in there, and then once we get those brown, like you said, all this will combine to kind of form a little bit of a light sauce type yep. thing? Yep. After I brown these off, I'm going to put the minced garlic and the jalapeno in there, and I'm going to kind of toast them a little bit before I start adding the cream and the butter. After I put those and toast them a little bit, I'll put the butter in there. We'll get that uh, all melted down. And then I'm going to add the cheese. And as the cheese starts to melt, I'm going to add that cream right there. And that's just regular heavy cream. Sure. And um, we'll let it simmer down. It'll mm -hmm. thicken up just a little bit. We'll make a sauce. And we're actually going to end up with what it looks like I made this morning. Uh, turn those over. About uh, time to give those a little flipperoo over there. Yeah, we won't put those on the camera, actually. All right, sounds but, um, good. And but anyhow, I made some uh, toasted French bread to go with it. You know, you got to have something to top it all up with. Right. And one meal right. feeds the homeless once a week. Every, every Sunday, 4 o'clock. Every Sunday, 4 o'clock. Yeah. And as you heard earlier in the first segment, they can accept your donations. If you have, if you have something to bring in, yeah. you can help out one meal as well serve our community. Yeah. Guys, we'll check back in on the sauce in just a little while and finish Either those all up. Chastity's over here. Welcome back. It's nice having you with us this morning on Studio 10. Michaela and Mike McKinley from One Meal making some blue marlin cakes with a creamy alligator sauce. Finished the cakes earlier, so now on to the sauce. Yeah. So what do we have going? Well, I've got the, the alligator sausage in there. And uh, while we were on break, I roasted the uh, peppers and the minced garlic like I was telling Joe we would do. Mm -hmm. And I put the butter in there, so that's melted. Now I'm putting this cheese in here. I'm just going to rake it all up in there. Now that's fresh Parmesan and smoked Gouda. Okay. You, you can use whatever flavor you like. Okay. Um, we're going to get that cheese melting just a little bit. See how that's already starting? Yes. And then we're going to add our heavy cream. All right. Now, earlier Mike said blue marlin may be a little hard to come by. <laughs> yeah. So, something that would be comparable, catfish. Yeah, catfish. Easier. Yeah, something that's got the uh, density, you know, with the meat somewhat kind of tough. You wouldn't want to use like a king mackerel because, yeah. you know, it's, it's kind of a soft fish. Yeah, a little flakier. And okay. we'll turn this back up to kick start. Okay. And how long do you need to cook the sauce? Now, the, the sauce, all you need to do is just cook it where all the flavors are going to come together because this isn't a real thick sauce. Mm -hmm. um, you can make it thicker, you know, just use a little bit of liquefied cornstarch or whatever. Okay. But, um, you know, this blue marlin, I've, I've got a bunch of it, and I was trying to think of, you know, ways I could use it to serve the homeless, and grinding it up, man, I, I found me something I can do. And that's something that you guys do, your friends, your family, anyone who wants to volunteer. Every yeah. Sunday, 4 o'clock, you guys meet downtown. Where do you meet? Yep. Uh, at the St. Louis Street Missionary Baptist Church. It's at, on the corner of North Dearborn and St. Louis Street. Okay. Um, if you're riding down St. Louis Street about 4 o'clock, uh, you can't miss it. Okay. <laughs> it's cool. a really old church with a lot of people in the parking lot. So, someone watching wanting to help out? They want to help out. Uh, the easiest way to do is to, well, go to y'all's website, Channel 10 Studios mm -hmm. uh, 10 website, mm -hmm. and all the one meal information is on the site. Okay. Um, they can call me at 379-9014 or one meal at bellsouth.net is our email. Can they just show up Sunday and maybe give you a hand? They can show up. Uh, a lot of times people that want to get into this, what I do is I tell them to come down, see what we do, maybe stand on the sidelines or just jump in and help. Yeah. Uh, and just see what we do. Everything, we've been doing this for over five years. Everybody's been helping. We've got a lot of nice contacts. Uh, just come down and see what we do. I mean, it's a real simple thing with only one rule. I mean, if you're hungry, get in line. All right, or help out. Or help out, you know. There's, and you can help in all kinds of different ways. I mean, of course, there's money, but you can donate food, time, supplies. Every little um, bit any, helps. Every, every little bit helps, everything. Okay, so if you want to find out how to help out, you want to get this recipe, because it's smelling really, really good. <laughs> going to let this cool off before we taste it. Fox10TV.com, Studio 10 page, recipe, and find out how you can help out the folks at One Meal. 